So I was watching a show the other day. It was about these uh, doomsday preppers. They go to all these uh, crazy extents to get ready for the whatever, whatever doomsday things happen. But I'm not one of those uh, guys. I'm not a doomsday prepper. But I am a uh, kind of a like a what if the power goes out prepper. So that's what this video is going to be about today. So this is actually my heating system in this building here and I heat my house and the workshop with this setup and it runs off of uh, sunflower seeds that have gone through a milling process so I get the waste left over but it still requires a little bit of uh, electricity to make it run I need, uh, uh, need to run that electric motor there and there's also a fan so and that uh, that keeps my house warm which is over there and I also want to be able to run a small circulating pump and a fan in the workshop over there and uh, back to my house I want to be able to run you know I want to be able to run my uh, sewer pump for uh, the septic tank and I want to be able to uh, run uh, a couple of key lights and uh, one or two plug-ins in the house so all these things see that's the thing uh, guys will get themselves set up with a generator and then uh, they think well they're all set up but really when the power goes out Okay, now what are you going to do? Are you going to run around with extension cords, trying to plug this in? Uh, okay, how am I going to power that thing up? i got that thing over there. So today we're going to have a look at a generator transfer switch. I'm going to show you how to make this setup really user friendly so when the power goes off, you're all set up. Here's my sunflower seeds at work. Ah, nice and warm. So we seem to spend a lot of time in the workshop when I'm making videos and stuff. So today you get a, a rare in Grouta One's house experience. Really it's only gonna be, we're just in the, like in the furnace room, laundry room area. So let's go have a look at my uh, generator transfer switch. Okay, so a couple of panels here that I have in the house. This is my, uh, my main power source. This is, a, I believe it's a 200 amp service that I have right here. And uh, so typically all my energy is coming from there. But here's another smaller panel, and I've got all my key breakers here, all the stuff that I want to have energized when the power goes off. Nothing here that's like a big power load, but you know, like my furnace fan and the boiler and the sewer pump and all the stuff that, you know, not high load stuff, but the key stuff that I need for heating and just general survival in the house here. So I can choose where this panel gets its power from. I can take power from my main panel or I can take the power from the generator so my generator can supply this box also if I want to and and all I do is I use a power transfer switch to decide where it gets its power from so right now this small uh, breaker box it's getting its power from the main panel but should the should the power go off and uh, I fire up my generator then I need a quick way to energize all of those breakers and that's what this power transfer switch does but I'll open this thing up for you guys show you what's on the inside so the uh, the wire that comes from my panel it's this one right here and it feeds power to these two terminals here and if this lever is in the down position then contact is made up on top there to these uh, contacts here and then power can come out of this wire and that wire right there the red one and the black one and those two they head out this way and energize my uh, little sub panel here if I decide that I want to use the generator instead then I'll move the lever in the up position and then this red wire and then that black one it takes its power from up top here see these are the generator wires here so and I can't I can't select both. I have to pick one or the other. So if I go here, I'm taking power from the generator. And if I, uh, in the bottom position, power from the uh, panel there. Here's some of the ductwork for my furnace. This used to be an electric furnace, but all the electric elements have been removed and I've just got this 
hot water radiator in there. And uh, so all I use from this really is just uh, my furnace fan and a place to put the radiator. So that's how my, uh, my house is heated. This black wire right here coming out of the top of that uh, switch, that's actually underground wire and it heads outside to my uh, boiler room and I've got a, I've got a place for my uh, generator to hook up there. So my generator is running outside and I've got power coming into the house here, into my box. Oh, it's a sweet setup. I've used it a couple of times. You know, power is out, bang, I switch it over to generator, fire up the generator, and uh, then we're uh, all under control here. So, But uh, yeah, nice setup. If you guys are going to set something like this up for yourself, make sure you get yourself a licensed electrician so you don't go and, uh, you know, burn your house down and stuff. But uh, awesome. I always like it when you guys uh, come and check out my stuff. So talk to you guys again.